For most of the bones that we learn, it's oftentimes easy to think of them as having an anterior and posterior side. For example, the scapula, anterior, posterior. You'll remember this distinguishing feature right here, telling us that this is posterior. That's the spine of the scapula. The vertebrae, anterior, posterior. When you see that spinous process, you know you're looking at the posterior side. Humerus, the intertubricular groove, shows us anterior versus not seeing it on the proximal end, posterior. Remember the hamate? That little hooked portion of the hamate indicates that we are looking at the anterior side of the hand as opposed to posterior. So all of these anterior posterior structures help us identify what side of the bone we're looking at. The hip, the os coxa, is a little bit different. On this one, I want you to think medial and lateral. And when you see the lateral side, easy structure to identify this as lateral is the acetabulum.